Hi, this is Madel Bayonla and Trisha Bacalot, your host for All About Language Podcast. In this episode, we'll be sharing to all of you the realization, learnings or insights we gained from Lesson 7, The Language. Language is the roadmap of a culture. It tells you where its people come from and where they are going. By Rita May Brown. Today, we're talking about what language is and the role it plays in providing a sense of identity, describe nature of language, and why all languages are equal. Also, it covers the diversity of language. Language is a method of communication that is organized. A language's grammar is structured and its vocabulary is free of components. Human language are the most common means of communication and they can be expressed by voice, spoken language, sign language, or writing. Many languages, even the most frequently spoken ones, include writing system that allows sounds or signs to be stored and reactivated later. Human language is distinct from other known animal communication system in that it is not dependent on a single channel of transmission. It is extremely varied between cultures and time and allows for a considerably broader spectrum of expression than other systems. Language distinguishes humans from all other organisms. Every known human society has a language, and while some non-humans may be able to speak with one another in quite complicated ways, none of their communication system even approaches the ability to carry information that language has. Organisms' daily activities do not include the conveyance of sophisticated and varied information. Other communication systems also lack many of the sign qualities of human language, such as the ability to talk about events that aren't now occurring. However, a human civilization without a language is difficult to imagine. Language, like culture, is renowned for its unity in diversity. We learned that all of our thought processes are conducted in language, our entire existence or essence or soul. However, we praise it is inextricably bound up to and with the languages we speak. Try to think without language, for instance. However, we see that the language is in essence superficial since many languages exist. To understand the true roots of our thought processes, the real nature of the human soul, and knowledge of several languages may be necessary. Sometimes, learning a foreign language helps you understand your own language and culture better through comparison or through the relationship between the foreign language and your mother tongue. Language is an aspect of humanity and learning what a fellow human speaks teaches you more about humankind as a whole. The more languages you know, the more you understand our species. And that is beneficial no matter what the situation is. Language influences culture, so learning a language helps us to understand how other people think. And it also helps us to get a general understanding of our world and the many people and cultures that inhabit it. We realize that in order to learn another language, we need to learn the different titles and functions of sentence parts. Learning these things can make us a better student and a more articulate person. Also, many of the root words used in foreign vocabulary will help us later on as we struggle to comprehend or analyze new words in our native language. We believe a great reason to learn a language is so that you can understand what the native speakers are saying to each other when they are speaking their own language to each other. So you can sit there and not talk to them but completely understand what they are saying in public. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening to All About Language Podcast.